Hello everyone, welcome to another video, Dusty here. Um, today I'm in Streamlabs OBS, going to be showing you guys how to add music to your stream and your overlays. So a lot of times I get people who ask me, well, how do you add music to like your stream starting soon screen or your be right back screen, whatever it may be. And you wanna be able to transition to these screens and have some really cool transitional music. I would give you a heads up, make sure that music is copyright free. You don't wanna get a strike on your channel or you don't want your videos, uh, your VODs to be pulled down, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch or whatever you're doing. And so with that being the case, let's go ahead and dive into now how to add music to these specific scenes or screens in your stream. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my stream starting soon here. Uh, by the way, this is one of the themes within Streamlabs OBS. If you haven't watched my Streamlabs OBS tutorial, I will link that down below as well. So let's go ahead here where you see sources and I want to go ahead and click the little addition symbol here to add a new widget. The first thing you want to do here under standard is go to media source. Now media source allows you to attach MP4s like video files as well as audio files. So select that there and then go to add source. I'm going to change the name of this source to starting music just like that there and then go ahead and click on add new source. Now it's going to ask me what file do I want to attach to this media source and in the, the case of this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and browse my computer and I'm going to choose a, a piece of um, audio that I downloaded from the YouTube audio library. I know that I'm not going to get any strikes from that music and then I'll select that go ahead and click open and then I'm good to go. Now one tip here for you guys, make sure you select loop. That's going to make sure that when the song is over, if it takes longer for you to get back or start your stream before the file is over, it'll just loop it at the beginning and you don't have to worry about any dead air. Uh, and then you can close the file when inactive. You can change the speed. I wouldn't adjust any of this stuff here, especially if you're just getting started and then go ahead and click on done just like so. Now we have our starting music. So now that everything is good to go, we have our starting music. How do you get that music to play when this scene is coming up? So basically, all you need to do is go over to where you see Mixer, click the little gear or the cogwheel icon. You're going to see something here that says monitor off on all of these things, desktop audio, mic, all of that good stuff. You want to go ahead and uh, the reason you're not able to hear it is because the monitor is off. If we go here and go to monitor and output, Boom. And now I've changed that to be the volume percentage to be 25. So if that's something that you want to do there, you can decrease, increase the volume here. Make sure that monitor and output is selected. Or if you want to, you can monitor only, but that's going to be just for you. So I'm not sure why you would do that. Now what happens is when we close out of this here, just like that, we go to our Be Right Back screen. You see there's no music here. We click on Stream Starting Soon. Boom, our music is going to load in just like we want it to. And you can do the same for all of your scenes. And then you can add that music that way. Now, you can also pipe in like Spotify, Apple Music, whatever service you use. That's a little more in depth. This is more for just music for your, your stream and your overlays. If you have any more questions on Streamlabs OBS or how to implement audio, any of that stuff, please put that in the comment section below. Looking to do a bunch more full tutorials on Streamlabs OBS. Also, download Slops if you want to. Uh, click the link in the description below and that'll get you started on that path as well until next time guys thank you so so much for watching this video and i will talk to you guys in the next one